have what it takes to become Asia's next top model. So this week, Pooja got sent home. And um, it's really sad because Pooja was one of the girls that I, I was starting to really get close to. Last but not least, enjoy this journey. What last? Uh, mwah, we love you, Pooja. Yeah. I feel very frustrated and sad. The good ones have to go. Press on and make me proud. I miss you all. Take care and God bless. XOXO Pooja. I'm extremely sad that she's gone. But then, you're, in a way, you're also relieved because you're still in the competition. Tia. I don't think you expected you to be in the bottom two. How are you feeling, T? Just, I don't know, I'm trying to like get my head over this man. Well, don't let it face you if you want to still be in this competition. You know what I mean, T? It's getting tougher and tougher. I'm, I'm amazed that I'm top ten right now. I'm not doing things for the fame or, you know, like, you know how some girls love attention and stuff? I grew up with boys. Boys taught me to respect myself. It's not easy, though. Living with girls. <sighs> One of my sisters, her name is Jofida. She, she's autistic. She doesn't get to do all these things I get to do. Asia's Next Top Model gave this opportunity for me, which I definitely don't want to let down, and I'm kind of doing it for her as well. Janice was one of my closest friends. The thing that destroyed us was the fact that she was f***ing about me to everyone else. No one wants to talk to her. Like, a lot of people just don't even want to pretend that she exists anymore. Hi, ladies! Hi! We're all gonna go to a cocktail party tonight. Yeah! 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 It's an activity that most girls will enjoy. With me, I have Haritha Shan. She's Max's senior makeup artist, and she's here to help you all with great makeup pointers to make you all look your most glamorous best. It was just really nice to have someone for fashion to come here to kind of teach you. This is one of my favorite products. Small pointy brush, powder brush. Taking up really little product and I'm placing it below her cheekbone. Usually what I do is so different what, and what she taught me. Once you have a clean base and then when you apply it, it really stands out. Okay? So I'm filling it in all the way with a lip pencil. Little bit of lip gloss just in the center of the lips. There you go. It looks really juicy. I've got some goodies here for all of you. Mac makeup, Mac makeup, Mac makeup. Hey. Oh, cocktail parties, they're fun. What are you gonna wear? You all be wearing Sunny Sun, which is Malaysia's multi award winning designer, known for his pure luxury cocktail wear. We felt like Joey was our fairy godmother. She came in with the makeup and the dresses and the parties. It, it was a dream come true. We finally got to go out and party. I'm genuinely happy about the fact that, oh, we get to meet new people. I'm ready to party tonight. And it, my lips really go with this dress, so I'm so excited! There was um, a little dilemma regarding the boobage area. I'm gonna be talking to a lot of people. I, don't, I want their concentration here, not here. The minute we stepped out of the cars at our location. She decided to alienate herself from the entire group, which was very, very strange. It's just, I don't understand what Janice's in, like, intentions are anymore. Why would you avoid people that are trying to help you? I guess they really think this is a beauty pageant or something. You know, like, every little thing to them seems really big. Marini's on 57. I don't think a lot of the other girls got it, but as Malaysians, me and Jojo were like, oh, that's a fancy play. Oh, party. 
girls, you all look exquisite. Job well done. I hope you're all ready to go out and enjoy yourselves. Yes! As our party is tonight, it is riddled with a lot of industries, who's who. So I need you all to go out and socialize, leave a lasting impression. This is a chance for you maybe to meet that future client, could give you that edge to who knows that campaign. Girls ready? Yes! Good to hear. So let's go enjoy ourselves. What Joey didn't reveal was that somewhere in this party was our special undercover judge, Glenn Tan. He's none other than the Subaru boss. As executive director, he's been successfully promoting the Subaru brand through Asia, literally driving sales up. And as our undercover judge, he's on the lookout for a model. He'll try to find that one special girl that can stand above the rest in a crowded cocktail party and more importantly, lead a Subaru campaign. Cheers, dear. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi, Andrea. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm Josephine. Josephine and Sheena. Sheena. Nice to meet you. Both Malaysian. Yes. Malaysian homegrown advantage. As a Malaysian, of course, me and Jojo will be able to recognize some of the more prominent faces. Today, she organized it here. Oh, I see. She's the organizer. Yes. 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 Make sure you've spoken to everyone. So remember Janice from yeah, Indonesia, yeah. okay? Janice from Indonesia, I remember you. Thank you yeah. so much. Good luck. Finally, you know, other people. I tried to, you know, move around the room as much as I could and try to make an impression on them. And like, remember me, Janice from Indonesia? But the drama comes to me. I don't even choose where it to come. It just comes. Yeah. 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 Not really interesting is our special guest of honor. He's got branding and all that. He's cool, so he's standing by himself. Standing by himself. <laughs> I never repeated my conversations. My mother's South African. That at home now, I'm gonna like rub boiled eggs on my face at home. <laughs> Miss Malaysia? Oh my god. I'm Miss Team Thailand. <laughs> they like who you are. They're gonna hire you. So that's definitely the advantage of meeting all these people. My name is Nicole. Where are you from? Um, yes. I almost forgot it was a challenge because I was just having so much fun just talking. I love that stuff. Oh, yeah. What's this stone? Like? I just noticed they're quite heavy. Oh my god, I love yeah. that. Yeah, I know, right? Everything it should have pockets, I swear. Hi. Um, I just want to let you guys know you have 15 more minutes. Yeah, it was really, really cool. And me and Mermaid, we just saw these two nice gentlemen standing there alone, so we went to talk to them. Yeah. Have you been to Taipei? Yeah, Taipei is quite interesting. I also went to Sentosa and I go around. Like looking for someone to talk to. And when I saw someone, like, oh yeah, he's cute. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh hi, sir. I interrupted Natalie's conversation. It's difficult to live with. <laughs> so I really want Subaru. I don't know the model, but but that uh, Subaru like strikes me. Oh, Forrester? Yes, Forrester. Yeah. But like, no, I saw we have a nice conversation going on. Like, he, he's communicating with me well, not like the other person. Like, yeah, you know? So good luck. Have a good evening. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, good night. Girls, I hope you made a lasting impression. How was the party for all of you? For what you didn't know is that we actually had an undercover judge who is looking for his new lead model for his campaign and photo shoot. Uh, so this isn't based on the number of people you managed to meet. He is the Subaru boss, Glenn Tan. Please welcome Mr. Glenn Tan. Oh my god, he's the Subaru boss. Like, oh, I should have I should have talked to him like, you know sophisticated, you know? Which of our girls did give that lasting impression? Well, I think uh, I had the opportunity to talk to only some of the girls. Uh, some of them thought I was part of the uh, props. The decor? The decor. And uh, walked right past me a few times. Uh, was standing there, I drank maybe three drinks. So this is probably a lesson to all of us. So uh, I think I spoke to uh, Jodali and Natalie, and I learned they're from Taiwan and Philippines. But I think the one that made the best impression was uh, 
Jodeli because she said she wanted to, uh, her dream was to buy a Subaru Forester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, I think she was being honest, but she didn't know I was the judge. Jodilee, congratulations. Now, this being a challenge round, you get to win an extra 15 frames for your photo shoot oh. tomorrow. Good job, Jodilee, but it's now time to go home and get some rest because you have a very, very important photo shoot tomorrow. We'll be going to our car assembly plant where the Subaru XV is made here in Malaysia, and you will be giving your best shot in front of the assembly line, so we will have a mix of Beauty and the Beast, and I hope uh, you guys make the best use of it. Good job, lady. Good job. When we were filming at Marini's, uh, Janice said something about all the girls, something about her being outcasted and all the girls bullying her, which wasn't very nice. Every time we do a competition like this, we are trying to promote something good. I would like to have faith in that. She's frustrated because the people who, who were really nice, were really genuine, are the ones who really. I want to a good heart. Go home. If I was watching this, I'd be like, lame, lame, lame. I don't care what Janice says about me. I do not appreciate the fact how Janice portrayed every single girl. Janice, you look a bit tired. I was quite emotional yesterday. The whole model house is on their periods. <laughs> My life is so difficult. <laughs> Everyone's on their periods, you know. I'm outcasted, like, ugh, it's so cool, dude. Janice is definitely portraying herself to be the victim here. If one of those fights start again, all of us are gonna try and just keep our mouths shut and just not even bother with it. After the cocktail party, uh, we went into the lobby of Ritz Carlton and then Janice uh, initiated the apologizing thing. I'm being an adult and I hope you forgive me if you think I'm getting out of line. Tia, I'm sorry if I hurt her feelings. It's not that serious, it's the fact that you just blur it out. Janice tried to apologize, but it felt like more of an act. Look, if you guys want to attack me, then attack me. All I'm saying is I'm You're sorry. Not you can stay in each other's That's way. You know, we can just stop squawking in each other's way. This is a competition. I'm competing. I'm not trying to make a beauty pageant BFF, okay? So I'm sorry. Just chill out. Guys, look at the way you're talking to us. Yeah. Are we talking to you in fashion? This is my face. What do you want me to do with my face? Change it? Do like, you even I was know this is you right? People are sarcastic there. You guys should get it. You it's not my fault. All I did was apologize and now you're... Don't talk over me! Let me talk! No, I'm not finished. I was talking halfway and you cut me. Anyone agree? I think they have to over-exaggerate to the extent where it makes me sick. That's how Nicole is. She's a nice person, but sometimes she can be over sup Oprah. You understand how I feel heartbroken, you understand how I, I feel disappointed and betrayed. Every time you apologize, my faith in you diminishes more and more and more. Sorry, Nicole, you understand? Seriously. I'm sorry, but this is still no, forget forget it, forget shit. Forget it, forget it. It's, why do you have to be so emotional like that? I'm allergic to food. If you really want us to outcast you, then just say so. What are you talking you're about? You're even talking to me all the whole Wait, time, you yeah. about? And you're so pretending like you're my friend? I was biting my tongue the entire time, and it takes a lot to get me mad. I just wanted to apologize because I don't want to go up in the house thinking that I didn't have the ball to drop my ego and apologize to all you guys, even though I don't think I was wrong. This is so don't apologize. Don't apologize. Yeah, yeah. If you don't think you're wrong, don't apologize. So that means you're fixed. Exactly. You get it? Damn, my flip was switched. My no, yeah, no, my switch was flipped. Cool, you guys man. are so sensitive, man. It's just not. It's really not that big a deal. You need to be careful with what you say around people. Why? Why are you, you like this cat? Careful. Why are you putting your voice higher than me? We're the same age, right? That is not that age. Yes, it does. I'm raising my voice. My culture and judge. I'm raising my voice because I'm frustrated with you. Well, so am I. I don't like gonna let you step all over me when I wasn't even talking to you or apologizing to you, woman. Okay, you know what, Janice? There's no point in that. She doesn't believe that she's wrong and she doesn't believe that anything she does is ever wrong. She doesn't believe. And every time the girls are saying anything to her, 
she thinks that we're ganging up on her. This is just not going to happen anymore. If you want to be left alone, then, you know, we'll, we'll leave you alone, Janice. Full on, bro. Who is that? Drives me all fired up and red, you know, like... All I wanted to do was say sorry. You know, I just wish they just group and then became men, because at least there'll be less soap opera. As the girls already know, Glenn Tan, the Subaru Big Boss, is looking out for the right model to lead his campaign launch. They'll be shooting at the Malaysian assembly line as the brand new Subaru comes to life. And the girls will be wearing the remarkable gowns of Indonesian hood couture designer Imelda Kartini. The man behind the lens for the shoot is Hong Kong-based photographer Taiman Worley. I started loving the makeup the moment it started happening. It was a very glamorous look. It was absolute bling. I'm ready to do this, and I want to nail it quick. I think I look like a mermaid, but the modern mermaid. <laughs> because of my outfit. Welcome. Officially, this is your photographer, Timon Worley. He's an amazing hey. photographer. He shot a lot of international brands and celebrities all over the world. Most of the girls today are getting 15 frames. You're gonna get 30 because you won the challenge last night. So, good job you, okay? I'm feeling confident, but I'm feeling pressured. You've got a little bit of space to move here. These guys are gonna kind of move with you. Let's just see you move. My parents told me that when you dream, you dream high, you dream big. So I pray big, I expect big. It's nice when you're very graphic and straight. The shapes are really nice, but we'll just play around with some because we want to make it really soft, okay? My father died before I graduated. The night before he had his heart attack, he asked me to sit with him. I refused. So I'm blaming myself that I didn't get to have dinner with him for the last time. It's just so hard. But I use it positively to be successful in life. There's noise going on, it's super hot in here, and she really moved her shape around. It was perfect. Uh, okay. The surrounding is so noisy. There's that lighting all over the place, and it's so bright that you can't really see him, and we can't even listen to him. One of the standout things about her, she didn't have the fear of like showing her face off to the camera. She really kind of came across as doing that really well. For once in my life, I felt like a beautiful princess, slash it was my wedding day as well. Here comes the bride, all dressed in gold. It was awesome. I was overwhelmed how there were male models. I was like, wow, 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 wow. But then, when I got there, I just went blank. Men. Can I touch him? I didn't even know I could touch him. No one said I could touch him. I should have touched him. Should have touched it. With your shapes, just to make them a little softer. So much hesitation with her shot. So if she can keep that relaxed, fun, happy feeling into the shoot, then she'll do great. I'm not going home. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It was pretty loud, all these like, materials going on and the smoke comes out. It was really cool. Okay, and then we'll cut that angle behind it. We've got five more left, so as she comes down, you want you like that shot when you're leaning back, right? She did really, really well. Her movements were bigger and broader, so she did a lot of like get, catching the light beautifully. Definitely a tough challenge. You're done? Okay, you're done. 
so far watching the girls, what do you think? Uh, it's quite interesting. It's a nice blend of uh, the whole mechanical part with like very glamorous gowns. So yeah. uh, I think it's a very fascinating photo shoot and I think the pictures will turn out really nicely. Sensational Subaru. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually my first time at the assembly line. So that itself was exciting already. And I have like a black cloud for an afro. My face might just get lost in all that hair. <laughs> Nicole, it's beautiful! I like the way that you're grabbing and you're directing them, that's good. I kind of thought that she would just kind of push them and tell them to get out of the way. I didn't expect her to be holding them, but it kind of works. Unlike Jody and Marie, this one's a hard Did dress to swing it? around, so she has to depend on her torso and shoulders and face, which she's actually doing. That's nice. It feels like a fairy tale. And I was thinking about what Adam said to us before, that we need to be more dramatic, have the more movement. I know that I got a bit photo from the last photo shoot, so I'm really worried if I don't perform as good as last time, just like a little bit different, it will have a massive like contract to it. Don't forget, Expressions, not just body posture, phase two. Natalie, there was a little bit of what shall I do now, a little bit of hesitation. And I think because that's overpowering most of the thought process, there's not much left for, you know, expression. The photo shoot was very contrast to what we were wearing and how they wanted us to act. So you try to give me some great shape in your dress. Don't lose your neck. There's slight changes to expression, which are good, but it would be good if there was a little bit more. Her upper body shape just wasn't really pulling it off. Okay, we're gonna get you into your mask. So if you come come this way. You know the photographer was really cute, so I was too busy looking at his face. And uh, I think I have a thing for shorter people. <laughs> it's looking nice, looking good. She's still hesitant with her shapes. If you choose three or four shapes that you want to make and then just play with those, it would have worked with a few shots. More and more practice. That's, that's what she needs. Okay. I'm going to aim for best photo. Even though I say it every week and then I never get it. <laughs> I'll be like doing backflips and headstands if I have to. She knew exactly what shape she wanted to make, and then she gave me enough time to, to capture that before she then moved to the next one. So it was perfect. It was great. A couple of the girls are like, oh my gosh, male models. And I'm just like, stay away. <laughs> because I have a boyfriend. As you're moving, try and just, when you feel like that's the shape you like, just give me a little bit of a, of a slower version so I can shoot it and then okay. carry on. You're giving me like two fairy tales. Mm. It's drama, it's strong woman in this industrial crazy warehouse, okay? Started talking about doing something soft first and then that didn't work out and we went hard. There was a slight difference in facial expression, but both sets of poses were very similar. It didn't happen in this shoot. Are we done hitting on each other? Because I really can't be bothered anymore. I would like people to forgive me. I'm not a perfect person, you know? I make mistakes and I say sorry if I make mistakes. I don't even want to apologize because I'm scared. If I apologize because I'm gonna freak out, like, no, you know what I mean? Oh my God. You said you didn't know what you were apologizing for. She apologized whilst thinking inside, saying, telling herself that she's just apologizing because she has to, not because she feels like it. She has proven herself 
as an untrustworthy person. In front of you, she may say that nice things and compliment you all the time. But behind your back, she always has something interesting to say about you. Hey, Brock, now that's really still upset. No, mm -hmm. I'm not upset. Look, look, can you please look at me in the eye for two seconds? Okay. okay. I apologize for making you cry. I feel no. bad for that. I'm throwing down my ego to the floor so that you girls can have less tension in the house. Because I feel sick too, and I'm sick of crying for these women. Hi ladies. Hi. Welcome to the next round of judging. First up, your model mentor, it's Miss Joey Mead King. Hi. Our resident photographer and judge, it's Mike Rosenthal. Hi. And our resident grouch, Mr. Adam Williams. Hi. And our special guest judge this week, who is the driving force behind Subaru in Asia, it's Glenn Tan. All right, girls, let's get this show on the road. So this week, girls, you had your shoot at the Subaru factory, wearing the gorgeous creations of Imelda Kartini, the Indonesian hood couture designer. And of course, you were shot by Timon Worley. Let's have a look at your best photo from the Subaru factory. Marie. You actually look like you're levitating. I love it. I just am missing about two more inches of your neck. Remember, we need a neck, so bear that in mind. Well, I think uh, she has a very different pose, quite in line with our brand, which is we want to be something different. Thank you. Sheena. Sheena, I really enjoy watching your work. Uh, great movements. You used your angles. You took a lot of risks that the other girls didn't take. And you, out of all of them, was giving great rhythm. And you happen to be the photographer's pet. You were his favorite. <laughs> Josephine. It feels like that you're in love with the guy, pushing the other one away. I love that you have kind of zoned out the rest of the world and you're just focused on that guy you're in the moment you created a little story it is really like something out of a movie i can feel the tension it's the right kind of tension it stands out and i think that's something more exciting than some of the other shots we've seen well done Dudley. let's have a look at your best photo Oh, what I see here is a divine goddess. I asked you to give me romance, and I feel like that this is a romantic shot. Our tagline is confidence in motion, and I think you showed that really well. It really makes it worthy of a great campaign from us. Thank you. Katerina, what do you think, Kat? No. You don't know? You know, I see that you are trying and you're really working to, to get outside of the comfort zone. I see the growth. Yeah, you just need to put your foot on the accelerator and hurry up. Tia. I don't want to be mean. It's just boring. It's bland. It's Tia doing Tia. But the best thing about the picture is the dress. It's like a floaty white cloud, darling. But I'm worried you are a grey cloud that is raining on our top model parade. Tia, I, I don't like this picture at all. You're just making it seem like the whole picture is very arrogant. There's a lot of things you could have done, but you're giving me a lot of frontal, which is actually making you wise. I'm getting a little worried, Tia. Thank you, Tia. Nicole. Nicole, I thought this picture was quite interesting. I think it's very memorable, which is very important. Gorgeous. But I would just say something about the angle, and that's just something you learn over time of exposing the underarm there. And that's really easy to fix because you just need to rotate your shoulder from the top. Some things that you need to be aware of. Natalie. Let's have a look at your best shot. Now, as I was saying to all of you girls, if it bends, bend it. And I can see that you did, but I think you took it to a little extreme. I would say beauty is pain, but you made yours actually facial-wise painful. The other issue that I had while watching you shoot was that you never stopped and let the photographer take a picture. Find your pose, hold it, wait for the flash, and then move to the next one. Thank you, Denley. Sneha. 
after your first seven frames, I go, Sneha, you're doing well, but you just have to slow down a little bit. And it's exactly what we're saying. But we got some different shapes, so this is fantastic. I thought the uh, shot was quite interesting. It has a interesting story, but I don't particularly like the angle. It's on its way, and it just needs that a little bit more. Okay? Thank you. Janice. Hi, Janice. Hello. How are you doing? Much better. Um, I tried to make peace with everyone at home. I admit that I made Nicole cry. What happened with Nicole? She thought that I was being exaggerative when actually I was being sarcastic. But other than that, I still apologize anyway because she was hurt. And I, I feel really wrong about that. You know, Janice, I'm really, really happy to hear that you apologized. That's what I should do with this 21 year old corner. Embrace the fact that I'm not childish. Let's have a look at your best photo. What I'm looking at is the story that you're telling. And I get an image in my head, and unfortunately, it's not a pretty picture. It's like I'm done with my business, and I'm going to pull the chain. Janice, when I looked at this picture, I was expecting a curtain to come down after you pulled your hair. Why do you keep pulling on your hair? It looks like, OK, that's it. Time's up. We're closing. On set with your Janice Swagger telling jokes and snapping your fingers and doing your thing, and then he picks up the camera and what happened? So there's some disconnect between the Janice that walks out on the set and the Janice that's in front of the camera. And it's kind of like went robotic, yeah. and I know that, and there's no excuse but to do better and do better. Oh! That's what you said last week. And then you said it the week before. I have given you 50 little secret ingredients to do well in this competition. And this week, sweetheart, it's over. Thank you, Janice. All right, ladies, it's time for the judges and I to deliberate. And when you return, we will know who is at the bottom of the pack. Let's start with Natalie. It's really frustrating to watch her just kind of float through each pose without giving the photographer a chance to, to actually capture it. And this isn't the first time that's happened. Yeah, I think it looks kind of safe and doesn't really communicate much. I, I won't be able to use her in a campaign. And our garden fairy princess under stress. Like I said last week, I want to concentrate on rounding out our future Asia's Next Top model. And I feel with Katerina, I would need several years. I think she looks very confused in the picture. She's like, why am I here? What am I doing here? Sheena. It turns out her best frame each week is always a little safe. I want Sheena's best image to be one where she is doing something. Um, well, I feel she's using the uh, guys more as a prop than actually the rest of the factory and it doesn't highlight the kind of industrial look. And here we have Sneha. I think this is definitely one of the prettiest pictures we've seen of Sneha. I just worry that she won't be able to sustain this. Marie with her new skill, levitating. I think it's quite an interesting picture. One of the better ones of the lot, I feel. I think Marie is working very hard and I believe that she's going to impress us yet again. Nicole. I agree with your comments about the armpit, but I, I like that she's interacting with the background. For me, uh, Nicole is playing all of our challenges and doing very well. Tia. Oh, everyone has the same reaction. Yeah. 
It's almost like it's going from bad to worse. Like I said, I'd rather work with the girls we can round out. Mm -hmm. Oh, Janice. You know, I think we're, what, five or six weeks in, and she just finally figured out the curve. Let's not have a model that just has one lucky shot. Let's have great choices, and Janice hasn't done it. Josephine, I love love this picture. I think this is what we've been trying to say to the girls on how much expression, how much story you can tell by movement. I feel that she's just using the guy too much as a prop. If you're selling underwear or cologne or hairspray, yeah, sure, you know, then the car just became like a prop in the background. It defeat the purpose of, of this whole shoot. Yeah. Jodely. Subaru floats in the background and Jodely floats in the foreground. It's angelic. I really like the posture on this. I mean, part of it is just the, the gown itself is pretty spectacular. All right, so clearly we have a uh, struggle, you know, for top photo. This is definitely my favorite. Josephine was channeling the energy to the wrong place. It Without should be pants. her and the car, yeah. not her and the guy. Josephine, it's this pure romance, and I think she gave it a great shot. The smart model would acknowledge that we're at Glenn's factory. I think the smart model should work that car. We have different kind of ideas about who the best photo would be. But for different reasons. But for, and for, for different reasons. Not, not, not because mm. one's wrong and one's right, right? Mm. It, I think now's the time to call the girls back here. Ten beautiful girls stand before me. But which one of these girls will go on to be Asia's next top model? Now, the winner of this competition drives away with a brand new Subaru XP. Next, you'll be the face of the Tresemme campaign and get to do an editorial and cover for Harper's Bazaar Magazine Singapore and Harper's Bazaar Magazine Malaysia. You'll also win a modeling contract with one of the top model management companies in the world, Storm Models London, and a heap of cash. The winner for Best Photo this week It's Jodely. I told you not to look so nervous, right? Congratulations. Thank you. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Thank you. <laughs> the runner-up for best photo, if we could, there'd be two best photos. But that's simply not the case. Josephine. I love this photo. Keep it up. This is awesome. Nicole. Sneha. Sheena. Katerina. Marie. Natalie. Janice, Tia, please step forward. To be honest, the judges want to send you both home. However, today's elimination was a predetermined non-elimination. Oh my goodness, do I speak English? Like, if this is English, this means that neither of us are going to get eliminated. I stood there with Janice for like two minutes straight, just wondering what they meant. <laughs> Which means that you both remain in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Oh what the? Oh my goodness. I was really confused, you know, but at the same time I was really happy because I didn't want to go home. I didn't want Tia to go home either. As soon as you thought I was going to go home, I already knew I was going to go home. You were. You hear by the skin of your teeth, both of you. Now, while you're both still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model, next photo shoot, you will have five less frames than the other girls. Congratulations.
I mean, maybe we deserve it in a way, but I'm just still gonna try and stay positive and do my best. I mean, I don't understand. I don't feel like the girls need to hug me because it's not like I've been very nice to them. The love is gone, you know what I mean? But can we go now? On the next episode, a very special guest guides the models on an iconic photo shoot. Spacula Coco Lee. Hello! <gasps> OMG, she's an idol in Asia. And Nicole once again confronts Janice. So when I cry, it's dramatic, and when you cry, you're emotional. Is that what you're saying? Because I don't cry like you cry, man. Have you watched yourself? Who will survive the drama and become Asia's next top model?